Let us hear from Neshwin Almeida, MFC Couples Goa, testifying on his mission experience. Good morning, MFC India. I'm Neshwin Almeida and I'm from Goa. I belong to the Margaon chapter and I've been in this community for about 18 years. Uh, and I belong to uh, the couple segment along with my wife, Alicia. And I was looking at basically sharing about my experience about being a light to the world. And I've got multiple uh, occasions where I am able to sh be a missionary and share and give some of my time to the Lord's work. There was a time back then, uh, uh, Alicia and I were not, were not yet married, but Alicia went on mission uh, to Bengal and Assam. And I said, Lord, next year in the summer holidays, make it possible for me to go. And the Lord never says no, right? The Lord never says no to your prayers. And uh, he answered my prayer. He gave me this opportunity to, to spend 30 whole days. We prepared ourselves in Bangalore and we got trained and, and we finally went to Assam and Bengal and we lived there in the tea gardens. We got to work with, with the people over there. We lived in their homes, in their, in their, in their bamboo touched, attached homes. We, we got to go into their tea gardens. We got to do programs with them. We walked from place to place. We, went in their churches, uh, we sang with them. Uh, brothers and sisters, I must say from my mission experience, when you to choose to be a light to, to the world, when you choose to go and speak and testify for your Lord and for his great love, it's not about, it's not about the people that you reach out to, but the Lord will give you a great experience and give you a lot of joy in your heart. I think I learned more from their sim simplicity, from their... Uh, from their ideas of being generous than what I had to give them. They, they, these people really made me understand what is generosity, what it means to give from the very little that you have. Okay, And brothers and sisters, there's so much that I used to think of when, when we organize programs in, in our hometown in Goa or when we organize camps and conferences. We think about lighting, we think about sound, we think about ambience. But we had so little uh, in terms of infrastructure in these places. Small little churches, small little hutmans, uh, electricity for just two hours a day or no electricity at all, just in the candlelight or in the dark. There was a time when we organized, we had a chapter meeting in the dark of the, uh, of the night. Okay, 7 p.m. in the evening, it was pitch dark. All we had was one candle in the room and 50 people to talk to and to praise and worship but it doesn't matter it didn't matter the the mosquitoes didn't matter the the uh, the ambience didn't matter the love of god in that room was amazing okay people had one room homes and just because when they put up their hands to host you for those five days or those four nights they literally took everything from their home and they relocated to somebody else's home because they said that this one room that we have we are giving it to him for, for for those three days imagine would you do that would you take everything you have from your home and go elsewhere just because you want to make space for somebody coming to your place despite their hardships of having to go so far for mobile connectivity having to go so far for to forage for food and to bring water and amenities. Their generosity to me, their warmth to me is what I realize how great my God is. And, I, and, and in those people, I realize that that's how the Lord is to me. Whoever I may be, wherever I am, from he gives me his best. He gives me the best of what he has. And, and, that's, what, and that's what mission experience is for me. And, and I will always keep that close to my heart from what I learned on mission, from more, more than what I had to give on mission. Brothers and sisters, this is, is what, what really, really keeps me going.